Hello, welcome to History 201, United States History to 1877. I'm Dr. Mason, and I will be your professor as we uh, navigate the history of uh, the early American Republic over the next 16 weeks. I'm really uh, looking forward to this semester. I, I think we've got a really good group of people. Um, and as we get uh, started, um, I think we're going to be in for uh, some exciting uh, kind of learning over the course of the next 16 weeks. And as we get started, um, the first thing that's going to be critical for you to do is uh, figure out how the course is going to work a little bit. One way to do that is to take a look at the syllabus. Uh, maybe you don't uh, have that yet, but if you uh, got this uh, kind of message, it either uh, showed up in your email or you logged into the course Blackboard page and you're seeing this uh, under announcements. Um, Blackboard's going to be critical for us. So the first thing you got to do is get that username and password. Uh, head on over to uh, the Blackboard uh, site for Waldorf that you can find under current students on the website. And then uh, go in and once you get your information, log into there. Um, you're going to look for uh, our course, which is U.S. History 2, 1877, History 201. Um, and you can find it here on the drop down tab um, and open it up. And once you get in there, um, you can see the syllabus right there on the home page. It's uh, four pages long. Um, and uh, each of those has uh, kind of some unique things I think that we can learn about the class. Uh, on this first page, it's got uh, where we meet, uh, the date and time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 1 to 150, um, as well as the semester. But then the other things on here are uh, kind of some of the big uh, technical goals we have for the semester. Um, so we're going to think a lot about research, uh, how we're putting together arguments, uh, developing um, skills that will uh, make us better over the course of the semester at how we encounter uh, subjects, how we explain them to other people, um, and how uh, we learn more about them. And so you can see that uh, here on the first page of the syllabus, it talks about some of the course learning outcomes in the three boxes at the bottom um, that uh, will give you a sense of how uh, I've put together this course um, to advance those goals that we have as we learn together over the next uh, 16 weeks. Um, if you go to the second page, it's going to give you a wealth of different information about the course, uh, whether it's uh, requirements, uh, late work policies, absence policies, um, the grading scale, and what's going to go into your grade. Um, you'll notice this course is out of a thousand points. We've got a variety of different uh, assignments, um, exams, projects, quizzes. We're going to do a lot of stuff because I want to constantly be uh, checking in on how you're doing, seeing how you're coming along, and uh, then uh, recalibrating what I can do to support that uh, as we work through the course. Um, so you'll see uh, we have these different types of assignments. If you uh, go down to the bottom, you can see uh, that it says grade composition. We'll break down uh, how those different parts uh, make up your final grade as we work our way through the semester. Um, and then you can really get a sense, if you go to the third page, uh, what this is going to look like on a week-to-week -week basis. I'm a big believer in putting the work in uh, and building things uh, block by block. Um, and as we uh, kind of get this going, that's going to be uh, our focus over the course of the semester is we're going to consistently work on developing these research uh, and argumentation skills, and that's going to lead us uh, to exploring uh, the past of this place uh, where we all find ourselves here in the United States. Um, so one of the things that you might uh, see is we have uh, a variety of different assignments coming due. The first is going to be the greatest assignment. Maybe you're a student like I was in college, and you go, oh no, i got to figure this out. It's due uh, next week. So uh, that's where it brings us to our next tab we want to explore. So there's two tabs I really want you to understand in the Blackboard shell. Uh, today, one being assignments. Uh, so if you click on assignments, uh, open it up, it's going to give you all sorts of different information on the things I'm going to ask you to do uh, week in, week out over the course of the semester. So that greatest assignment is uh, right there. You can scroll down and see all of our historical thinking assignments, um, as well as our uh, unproject uh, are also under there. So you can maybe get a sense of some of those things. Um, but uh, the first one you got to worry about is the greatest and uh, how you're going to both uh, understand this assignment is reading the directions, uh, making uh, your selection according to that, and then putting your work together. And once you do that, that, um, you're going to uh, go in there. Maybe as you're thinking about it, you want to read those directions. You want to think about this a little bit. Maybe you want to see how you're going to be graded. So uh, you go, I know by Wednesday, January 19th at 1 p.m. I have to turn this in, uh, which you can do down there where you click on uh, browse local files and put that in there. Um, but then uh, you can also uh, take a look at the rubric um, that's going to uh, be uh, an opportunity to see um, what uh, I'm going to grade you on as the assignment comes due. Um, you can click on that. It'll uh, bring you some different information, and that'll help you uh, get off uh, to the right foot on any of your assignments over the course of the semester. 
Um, the other thing I want you to take a look at is uh, the tab uh, over here on the side where it says resources. And if you click on that and uh, open it up, it's going to uh, show you um, a variety of different things, uh, starting with uh, the syllabus for the class. Maybe you want to print off a copy. Um, it has my schedule on there if you need to come uh, find me here in Salveson Hall. Um, it's also got uh, the textbook site as well as the American uh, YAP PDF site. You maybe uh, heard there's no book for this class. You went, yes, there's a book. It's just uh, not going to cost you anything, and it's uh, readily available online. The rest of the sources on there are things that uh, can help you on your uh, HDA assignments on a week-to-week -week basis. Uh, they're just quality sources for taking a look at the American past, and there's a variety of different stuff there that you'll get a chance to experiment with as you work your way through the class. So once you've taken a look at uh, Blackboard um, and you're feeling uh, ready to go, um, I'll see you uh, as we get started here uh, on Wednesday afternoon. We'll be in the small pit at one o'clock. If you have different questions or uh, things in advance, make sure you're reaching out. I'm here to uh, help you be successful uh, however I can, um, but I can't read minds and I need you to uh, be in this uh, with me with both feet. Um, so I'll see you Wednesday afternoon. Until then, uh, have a great uh, start to the semester.